Hello, welcome to Run Testers. I'm Nick. I'm about to go and put the Nike Zoom X Streetfly through its paces with an indoor track workout. We've also got Kieran's first run video on the shoe up on the channel already. But yeah, it's a really exciting shoe. I'm going to go out today and do a nice mix of paces. I've got a longer rep, a uh, 2K rep, around 5K pace, some 700 meter reps, and some fast 200s. So we'll be able to test out the shoe across you know, a range of different paces and distances. Quick bit of info on the shoe, we'll have our full review to come with a lot more depth of detail on the design of the shoe, but it is very light. It's 182 grams in my UK size nine. It's got a full length ZoomX midsole, but no carbon plate. There is a P-Bax shank at the midfoot to provide a little bit of structure and kind of you know, a transition a little bit there. It's got a 32 millimeter stack, so obviously it's coming in a little bit smaller than things like the Vaporfly. And it's on sale January the 27th. Uh, the price is £134.95. Now it'll be interesting to see if that is the final price because when the Vaporfly Next% 2 launched in a proto colorway like this, it was a hundred. It was £210 and it then went up to 225 with kind of later colorway. So that might be the case here, but yeah, the price we've been told is £134.95. And for those who ask how we got the shoe on Kieran's video. Uh, uh, we're all journalists here in the UK, the run testers are. We Nike has sent the shoes out to UK journalists now for uh, you know the usual completely impartial reviews that we do for a range of outlets, including the run testers. Finally, just a very quick word on fit. Uh, I found the street fly to be quite long and I've got quite a lot of room in the toe box in my normal size. I have quite a narrow foot and I think I could probably have gone half a size down. Um, on the run, it didn't really matter. I found that I had a good lockdown around the kind of heel and midfoot and could run fast and the, didn't even think about the fit. But yeah, it is quite roomy and long up top. So I'm here at the track now, uh, ready to do the session. Adrenaline's starting to get going. Um, uh, it's actually really my second ever indoor track workout. First one was last week. Uh, my calves have only just about recovered. You spikes a bit last week, which ripped them to shreds. So you're actually quite pleased to be in the cushion shoe of the street fly today, which hopefully will protect the legs a bit more while also still being very fast. Um, it'll also be interesting to see how it does in the camber, actually, of an indoor track, which is that camber on the bends. But um, the Takumi Sen 8 I used for a rip or two last week as well. I actually did pretty well there. That's got a similar stack height. The actual session is a 2K where I'll be running alternating 200 meters in 40 seconds and 35 seconds. So the whole rep's about 6.15, about five minute mile pace, 3.07 per K pace. Uh, then I'm gonna have a little recovery and go into uh, five times 700 meter reps, doing the first 400 in 75 seconds, then closing a bit quicker in 51 seconds. And then I'm gonna do three 200 meter reps in kind of doing them all out, but hopefully no slower than 32 seconds. So yeah, it's good, uh, I'm not gonna lie, it's a bit out of my comfort zone. I'm primarily a marathoner, and this is kind of top end speed work. I've got a couple of indoor races, first ones of my life next month. So I'm just trying to get out of my comfort zone a little bit and try something new. So it'd be a good test for me and the street flight. That's uh, 2K done, um, actually felt okay. Uh, I've got a bit, of, a bit of grief from my right calf. I can say I'm normally a marathoner, or a heel striking shuffler, so up in the pace. and getting more onto mid forefoot. Puts a bit of strain on the old calves, but um, yeah, the pace was quite comfortable there. There'll be a couple more minutes break and then heading into the uh, three, 700s, which will be interesting. Oh, so I'm done and my word, that was hard. Like I say, 2K was pretty good, but the uh, 700s were very, very hard from the off. Basically, it felt like the 75 was tiring me and then I had to do a 300 all out sprint. Uh, so I did four of the five reps fine and bailed about 300 meters into the last one. And then uh, came back uh, finding the 200s around kind of 30, 29, 29, felt quite good. And all in all, the shoes, pretty good impression actually. I'd say the 2K, they felt fantastic. Like, like I say, that's kind of 5K pace, but they felt like they were moving from 520 miling to 440 miling, each lap kind of really comfortably. It felt very smooth, very comfortable. I was probably slightly more midfoot heel striking on that. And it, they felt really nice. 700s are hard, hard to judge a shoe. I just, could barely think but um the 200s i will say right up on my kind of forefoot coming down the bends fast really nice amount of grip actually and traction from the rubber on the forefoot you can do those hard reps on the camber track i don't know you know how they feel on a slick outdoor track in the rain but i'll try and get that testing in as well but they felt really good on that kind of all out pace and i really enjoyed the 2k actually in them i think you know they're comfy i don't think i was missing the plate but maybe Maybe on those 700s, like really striving hard, you know, holding and then pushing again. Maybe the extra propulsiveness or something like the Vaporfly would have been worth the extra, you know, 20 grams it weighs. But I'll have a little bit of think on the way home. We'll do a bit more kind of, uh, and do some kind of slightly more 
do some slightly more well thought out comparisons at home when I can think, because right now I just, there's no air. Indoor track is so hot. All right, home and had a bit more of a think about the shoe and uh, how I kind of felt there. Like, so I really enjoyed running in the street fly today. It's certainly um, a fun shoe, a soft shoe, a bouncy shoe. Uh, it's certainly much closer to the vapor fly than it is the streak. Uh, although I haven't used that forever, but any kind of racing flat, it feels more like more akin to the kind of high stack shoes. It's softer, you know, squidgier. Um, like I say, felt very, very good on that longer rep. I think it's a shoe that would be really interesting to use for 5K in particular. I'm just thinking whether towards the end of uh, that 5K, whether the extra you know, propulsion and maybe efficient efficiency that you're getting from a plated shoe, you know, it would be very interesting to see if it would really um, help um, you know, having that in there. Certainly when I think about the Vaporfly, it feels like a firmer, more maybe more purposeful ride. Pick up is lighter on the um, street flies because it's a lighter shoe and... Going all out on those 400, on those 200s, it, you know, it felt really fantastic at the end there. Um, I've been using the Takumi Sen 8 a lot recently as well, and it certainly feels similar to that shoe. Yeah, really lightweight, but still cushioned, protective shoe. Takumi Sen, I think, feels a bit bigger and protective. I used it on the indoor track last week for the last rep, and it certainly felt fast, but still kind of comfortable. My legs were killing me on that on those last couple of reps last week, and it really did a good job. I held the pace on a, on a K rep and some 200s quite nicely. So yeah, some similar, similarities there. I think... The, um, the Takumi maybe feels slightly more protective to me. I don't know. I don't know. I'm going to do a workout on Saturday where I use both the Takumi and the Street Flight you know, um, in the same workout. We'll do maybe a little video on that as well just to give a quick comparison there. So right now, um, hard to call, especially versus the Vaporfly. I wouldn't be, if you have a Vaporfly and you're using it for 5 and 10K, I wouldn't be rushing out and buying the Street Fly necessarily um, as a kind of better option. I think it's, it's fun. It's a fantastic shoe. It felt very good at 5K pace today over 2K, but... Whether it you know would hold you towards the end of the race in the way the Vaporfly has done for me in recent years, it'll be interesting. Um, we'll do a load more testing and give you some more deep dive and comparisons. But yeah, it's a really good shoe, a really fun shoe, very fast, nice grip on the indoor today. Um, jury's still out for me about whether it's going to replace a carbon shoe in my lineup, uh, even over kind of short distance races. So we'll have to see on that one.